Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we are here with an Ammonite Crabs Guide for Old School RuneScape in my Endless Adventure Make as many guides possible. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you do, make sure to leave a like. Also, would greatly appreciate a sub as well. Up to you though. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into the guide. So as far as the main reasons as to why you would kill Ammonite Crabs, the first thing is that they're amazing XP. They are one defense, so you can just go ahead and absolutely slaughter them and just rake in XP endlessly. And then on top of that, they're extremely AFK, so you can just sit back, have a grand old time, kick your feet up, and you really don't have to worry the only time you have to pay attention is once they are done aggroing you as far as the requirements all you're going to need gear wise is just some basic gear you can come here with full rune if you'd like you could even come here with less if that's available to you however probably not considering most people are going to have better than that by the time they get bone voyage done which is the other requirement a quest requirement to get over to the fossil island area and that is where the ammonite crabs are located in terms of what you need to know a drop wise from ammonite crabs they drop easy clues at a 1 in 128 rate so you can grab those as you get them on top of that they drop a lot of fossils as well these fossils can be dusted off at the varrock museum and turned into different displays that you can then get xp lamps for complete so I'd recommend you pick those up as you go. Sort of some passive XP that you get while you're here. Ammonite crabs are weak to everything, so you can choose whatever you'd like. Today I'll be talking about melee and range-based setups, considering that magic is better left trained in other fashions of the game. They attack with a melee-based style, and their max hit is a 1, so you don't have to worry about damage that will be dealt to you at all. For the melee gear setups here, we have three different med level setups, and a high level setup as well, I guess you could say. On the left-hand side, just full rune, very basic, very straightforward, uh, just a classic setup right there in the middle we have more of a med level setup from level 50 to 60 when you're kind of in that range this is a good one to go with you don't need the obsidian cape but if you have it you may as well bring it and then on the right hand side we have more of a high level setup with some definitely med high level upgrades in there with the fire cape and the fighter torso you don't have to focus too much on defense so you're not going to need any barrows pieces or anything like that there's definitely upgrades that can be made on this to a max level setup like if you have bandos if you have a torture if you have primordial boots, all that jazz. If you have the end game upgrades, of course, bring them. However, I'm imagining most people that are killing Ammonite Crabs probably won't be in that case. But if you're lucky enough to be there, by all means, go ahead and bring it. Beyond that, there's a ton of different weapons that you can bring. So while I did list these three down below, it's really up to you in terms of what you need to train and what you're looking for here. Abyssal whips, daggers, bludgeons, brine saber. I mean, there's, there's a ton of weapons you can choose from, so really it is up to you on what you want to use. For the range setups here, I have a low level setup and a med to high level setup on the right. So the left hand side is mostly just snake skin along with mithril darts, while on the right hand side we have black dehyde, adamant darts, and some nice little upgrades with the god dehyde boots along with the fury. Fill in whatever sort of dehyde that you can bring. If it's green, blue, red, god dehyde, whatever you have available to you, go ahead and bring it on over here. In addition to that, weapon wise, there are other things that you can switch to. I actually really enjoy the rune arrows and the magic short bow combo. In addition to that, there's various different crossbow combinations that you could go with. And you could also bring a blowpipe here if you wanted to use a good bit of your money, but also get some good XP as well for your dollar. So now that we got that, as far as the inventory, I'll be bringing some boosting potions. If you're using range, just bring range potions instead. On top of that, I have an inventory of lobsters just for food. As an example, if you don't need food, that is perfectly fine. And then I also have a dig site pendant along with the stamina potion. If you haven't made any dig site pendants after completing Bone Voyage, basically all you need to do is make a ruby necklace, then enchant it. And that is how you go about doing that. So I'm going to teleport to the first location, which is the dig site. You could also use the second location. We'll talk about that in a second. Teleporting here, you can then go on over to the barge guard and quick travel on over to Fossil Island, which is going to be where we are going to need to get to for the Ammonite Crabs. So as far as where I like to kill them, there's three main locations that I enjoy. The first one that's the most common is up here to the north. There's a couple different spots you can sit at, and that's usually the most crowded. There's also one over here in the northwest area of the island, and there's also one in the southeast area of the island. So if you're going to the most common spot, you're just going to want to go ahead and walk to the northeast a bit. Then from there, you will run on up here and on this coastline, you'll see a spot right there, which is already taken and a spot over here, which is already taken as well. If you like these spots, go ahead and just hop worlds until you get one that is available to you. So the next two locations I'm gonna show are easily accessible through the Fossil Island teleport on your dig site pendant. Keep in mind, however, if this is your first time using these teleports, you will have to 
activate the mush tree that is located on the northwest, so you can just run there, or you're going to have to activate the mush tree that is located down here to the southeast for your first appearance here. If you're going to the southeast, just run around through there and you'll be able to find your way on over. But assuming that you have those activated, then go ahead and use the magic mush tree. If you want to go to the northwest location, go ahead and teleport to the mushroom meadow. From there, the ammonite crab spot is going to be right over here to the west. And as you can see up here, someone is already located at this area. A nice little spot, very secluded. So that's kind of why I enjoy that. I feel like there's less competition over here rather than the first location because there's a lot of people that know about that first spot. And then another location I like to use as well through the magic mush tree, as I mentioned previously, is on the southeast. So go ahead and click the second option there and you will be thrown near where you do your birdhouses if you do actually do your birdhouses like a good runescape player. If not, you should feel bad about that. Anyways, from there, go ahead and head on to the east a little bit. And this is actually my preferred location. Um, I even have the tile mark down here, so you know it's true. And this one is just nice and easy, very far away from everything else that's going on, on the island. So usually the least active. Go ahead and stand on in the middle, just at this spot right here. And then you'll have three different ammonite crabs that step up to attack you. From there, go ahead and pot up. And it's as easy as that. Just sit back, AFK, put your feet up, and enjoy the XP just flowing on in. The only thing you really have to worry about is one. Once they are unaggressive towards you, then at that point just run really far away. The distance is different depending on where you're at, at least the location you'll be running to. So personally, whenever I do it, I just run a ways over here, get towards about this little volcano spot, and then I go back on over and they should be aggressive towards you again. And just like that, you are good to go for a little while longer. But that is going to be it for the guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. On top of that, if you want to see more videos like this as soon as they go live, make sure to subscribe. Also highly recommend to check out the clan chat that I have in-game, Small EXP Lamp, nice place to meet new people and you can also check out the discord down below to also get more involved with the community as well but with that said hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh peace